We got like four minutes, so we'll <clears throat> just wait for a few more to show up. Ha ha, I am unmuted Ooh. again. I can hear you. You muted me. <laughs> well, whatever I did, it worked. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's work out. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, Marcy, I was saying, look, we got the same shirt. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. Uh, you won. What do you have I on? got a manual one on. <laughs> on a manual. Got, oh, we need to get you a manual one. <laughs> then, I got too many shirts already. I got to do my, <laughs> my tiny and my rudest. It's me me too. <laughs> I'm thinking of knitting a blanket with all my shirts, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my my mom's trying to make one. I I don't know what she's doing with it, but oh, that would be so cool. See, I need to contact your mom. And be like, are you using a sewing machine? Do it by your hand. Uh, I think she's using a sewing machine. Yeah. I have one and I'm afraid to use it because last time I used one, I uh, ended up having a needle <laughs> through my finger and uh, I was like, Bleh. but I yeah. still bought one because eventually I'll gain courage again. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, like man, it's horrible. <laughs> hey, you guys, welcome to the workout. Can you guys hear the background music? I got my yoga playing. <laughs> so if you guys can, while we're waiting, get some yoga music in the back to help you relax, calm your nerves, your mind. Good. Or you Good can question. listen to mine if you can hear it. I'm not. I'm trying not to make it too loud. Is that Christy? Hi, Christy. <laughs> this won't be this one will be more chill than yesterday than last week. Way more chill. Old. I'm old and I get sore. <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> so you just wait. <laughs> what? Yeah, you just wait. I've been trying to work out with my girls that they you know, because Kayla's with me. So I've been trying to do like our summer program with them. Yeah. I think I got two days and then I had to take a day off. Ah. Ah. Oh, all right. Well, I'll do my best to just like consistently stay in shape. That way it won't be too hard. Yeah, it's way, way, way easier to stay in shape. As hard as it is than it is to get out of shape. Okay. <laughs> so but like 30 minutes a day here and there, that, that'll be sufficient enough? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Just do the workouts all the time. Yeah. That'll work. <laughs> I love dancing. So as long as it work. Or I'll just become a coach and then like work out with the kids. But then yeah. After uh, you, a while. Think so. you think so. You think so. And then you realize that you don't have to do sprints with them and you don't have to go through like shark bait and then you don't <laughs> have to do all that stuff. And you're just like I'll sit out. I'll sit out. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh to do sprints with them they're like oh i just beat the multiple time world champ I'm like look hold on absolutely not nope nope not even gonna put myself in that position <laughs> <laughs> yeah because how many times have you won worlds christy um i've won world twice, but i've placed nine times yes do you guys hear that we are in the presence of greatness. Well, don't forget Marcy, too. No one's being right Yeah, there. Mars is here. <laughs> yes. I just wanted to throw that out there, Christy. I'm sorry. Like, oh, no, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. <laughs> like, how awesome. I think, Christy, right here, you're still our most decorated woman wrestler, aren't you? Uh, I think so. For now. I don't want to. Adeline's creeping in. <laughs> yeah. She, I need some younger girls to come on up. I know. We're, we're trying. You guys are doing a really good job. You really are. You're doing a great job. 
good job. <laughs> it's uh, definitely it's something here. these older girls are proud of, for sure. Yay. We're doing the best we can. And then you the guys other are rocking girls, it, man. It's it's awesome though. I'm really excited that we're doing stuff. They're gonna be. They're gonna be upset that they give you guys one more year to prepare, that's for sure. Oh, oh you don't even know. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Hey, Tamara, I, I got some of our high school wrestlers here that wanna say hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're there. Hi. Fulton and Landon. They're gonna go dig some dirt and move some rock. <laughs> oh, dang, you got them slaving out there like that? <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? I said, you got them slaving out there like that? Nah. Uh-huh. Heck yeah. <laughs> they say, nah. You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's awesome. You guys have fun. Bye. That's one way to get cross training in. <laughs> They're hired hands for the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Shoot, I need to get a hired hand to mow my lawn. <laughs> time to work out yes all right so if any of you are just joining we're going to be doing yoga today so if you want you can kind of hear my music but you can also have yoga music playing in the background something to ease your mind it can be instrumental your choice but just have something that you can focus on while we're holding these positions, because we'll be holding positions for one to two minutes, all right? Let me get this down, and I will be yelling at you guys so you can hear me. So the yoga positions that we're gonna be doing are going to be focusing on our hips, opening our hips. Hips are very important in wrestling. So I've been working on that flexibility and trying to strengthen them, especially in this time. So the first pose that we're gonna start out with, a lot of this is all, all of this is groundwork. So you won't be going up and down, doing a little ladder dance. You're just staying down. So you'll get on your knees and we'll start with child pose. Your bottoms of the feet, your bottoms of your feet are on the ground and your legs are spread out and your arms are stretched out in front of you. And you'll be holding this pose for two minutes. Get comfortable. Oh, don't worry, I got time going. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Nice and slow. Big, deep breaths. Slowly come up. Next, we're going to do the half frog. 
ground, and our left foot, or our left leg is gonna come out to the side of our body at a 90 degree angle, right here. And we're just gonna stay here for one minute. After that minute, we're gonna switch to the other side. Yes, see. Keep focusing on your breathing. Nice, big, deep breaths. Keep breathing in and out, nice deep breaths. We've got short time and then we'll switch to our right side. All right, slowly come up, using your elbows and hands to help you up. Now your left leg is going to go out straight behind you. And your right leg out to the side at 90 degree angle. And we're gonna be here for a minute. Keep breathing in and out. And while you're breathing, think about what you're grateful for. The sunny day that's outside. The fact that you have food in your belly. You're able to spend so much time with your family. Think about what you're grateful for. School's almost out. Whatever the case may be, you keep breathing in and out. All right, slowly come up. Now we're going to do the frog pose. Frog pose, both our legs are going out 90 degrees. Our butt is in the air and our chest is down on the mat. So we're here and our arms are outstretched in front of us. And we hold this for two minutes. While we're here, think about what you're grateful for. Keep breathing in and out. Let your worries melt away. Keep breathing. Slow 
slowly come up to your butt, using your hands to help you up. Now we're gonna sit on our butts and we're gonna do the shoelace. So legs stretched out in front of you. Our right leg is going to go over our left and we're going to bend our left leg underneath our butt. And we're going to hold the top of our feet right here. We're going to hold this for one minute each side. Woo! Do you guys feel this position? I, I feel this position a lot. So focus on your breathing. If you can, get your knees together. I'm not there yet. All right, straighten your legs out, shake them out a bit. Now we're going to bring our left leg over our right. And yep, we're going to bring our right leg underneath our bottom. Now we're going to hold this for a minute. And remember, focus on your breathing. If there's any pain that you're feeling emotionally, physically, don't think about it right now. Just let it wash away and just clear your mind of anything. Focus only on your breathing. All right, straighten your legs out. Woo! Next, we're going to do the dragon. So come up to your knees. Dragon, all that is is just a forward lunge. So bring your right leg out in front of you. Your left leg is going to be out behind you. Elongated, but still on your knee. And both your hands are going to be on the inside of your arm, or inside of your legs. We're going to hold this for two minutes each side. And we're staying on our hands. If you're on your elbows, that's like a lizard. That's just, I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm still on the dragon. But if you can do the lizard, do the lizard. That just puts you a little lower on your elbows. I, I can't reach that. Keep breathing, nice deep breaths in and out.
keep holding it. Breathing, breathing. All right. Slowly come up. Allow your hands to be placed on your knee to help you up. Shake that out a bit. Now we'll switch sides. Right leg back, left leg forward. We're holding this for two minutes. Remember, hands on the inside. And focus on your breathing here. Think about who you are as a person. What do you like about yourself? What do you dislike? What changes can you make? Improvements you can make. Keep breathing in and out. Know that people love you. You're here for a reason. Everything will work out for the best. Now just clear your mind of all those thoughts and just focus on your breathing. Big breaths in and out. Nice and slow, in and out. on that breathing you guys when you're ready if you've gained your balance look over your right shoulder you're holding it and you're breathing in and out Well, 
Remember, take that weight off your right knee. Let your left leg collapse and look over your left shoulder.
Thank you. 
Slowly allow your body to wake up. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, your legs. When you're ready, use your elbows to help you up. Oh, a nice little crunch. Come to your butt, cross your legs. Crisscross applesauce style. Reach for the sky. Prayer hands together. Hands to your heart. Namaste. The light in me acknowledges the light in you. And then you say namaste back. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Woo! That is it. I don't know why I'm sweating, but... <laughs> what was that? Thanks. Hi! I survived, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Christy. It wasn't so bad, right? No, um, I needed a stretch. Yeah, it's good. I like it because it's definitely going to help me in wrestling when I'm, like, trying to blast double somebody or, like, get out of the single leg. You're like, boom! <laughs> You thought you had me. <laughs> It'd be fun. I feel like that was the best Saturday wake up ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Because some people are doing it at 8 a.m. That's right. Yeah, some of them are early. I don't think, I don't know if anyone on this group, I think they're a little later than us, maybe. Okay. Well, good. Well, shoot, it's a Saturday, so they probably just woke up like 15 minutes before this anyway. <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Did they do it too? Yeah. Yeah. They mostly just crawled all over me. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Jay. Fun. <laughs> Another fighting over an umbrella. <laughs> I see. It's a pretty umbrella. I'd fight over it too, I guess. <laughs> so, you guys, I know it went, it went a little bit longer. Sorry about that. <laughs> but... Do you guys have any questions for me? I'm here. Ask me. <laughs> I have something. Um, yeah. So an issue I found that I have is I try to be a little too perfect when I'm wrestling, and that mm -hmm. keeps me from being loose and ready to fire off for a shot or something. And I was yeah. wondering what suggestions you might have mindset-wise to help me remedy that. Yeah, so... When it comes to being rigid and perfect and like just trying to perfect everything, it's understandable because you just want to get every single thing right, right? And like um, for me, like I kind of like the um, the acknowledgement of others and look at them for approval. Like did I do it, did I do it right? Dang it, I didn't do it right. And um, what I've learned is it's okay to not be perfect because you're not going to create a perfect position every single time, whether it be in a practice room or a wrestling match. So what I've had to tell myself repeatedly is almost go with the flow. Like obviously like still try to force a situation because you know, this is my match and I want to win it. But if they're sitting up there like head posting me like consistently and I can't do something that I want to do, I just have to go with the flow and just Take almost what they're giving you and be okay with that. That's the biggest thing. Like, you, ha you, you have to be okay with it. Because it's, it's okay to be perfect in, in practice. Like, to, to do a move 100 times, 500 times, repeatedly over and over again, and, like, get it right, 
that's fine. Because once you step out onto the mat, believe it or not, it's going to translate onto the mat. And a lot of times what you practice is, is just going to, it's going to explode out there, regardless of what somebody else is trying to do to you. But if things don't go your way, just know that it's okay. And just go with the flow and be okay with it. Because we're not perfect. Sometimes we all slip up, right? But we're human. So just be okay with it. Right, Angela? Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I, I had trouble with that. <laughs> um, I have a question. Yeah. Hi, it's uh, Shawnee again. I know, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was just wondering if you could um, just talk about like your college experience, just like your main takeaway from it or like just, yeah, like college. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said main takeaway because I was about to sit down and go, well, let me read you a book. But no, I'm kidding. So first and foremost, my main takeaway would be I am human and I need to be humble and accept criticism because when I first got to college, I fell from grace. I, I went into college a two-time state champion and I like thought that I was, you know, like a bad A. I went to college and I, I got humbled quick over and over and over again. And I had to learn to be okay with that. And um, I had to take in criticism that the older people were giving me. But at the same time, when those people walked away graduated, whatever the case may be, I had to also step up and learn to be a leader. So um, that was really like a huge takeaway for me was being humble, but at the same time, like being a servant leader, because uh, I, a, a lot of people look to me for advice and guidance. And um, I had to, I had to learn to like be okay with like being in the spotlight and like making sure like I was, I was doing what I needed to do. And that translated also into the academics. If I wasn't um, on, on point with my academics and my grades weren't up, I didn't wrestle. And so being a leader in that aspect and just having a humble heart and saying, yo, I kind of got a 69 right now. Can somebody help me in my chemistry class or accounting class? Because this, this sucks. I don't want to fail. I want to still be a starter. So a lot of a, a lot of being humble and just asking for help and uh, just being a servant leader is basically what I took away from that. And also one huge thing was communication. Without without communication, none of those things would have worked. So. Um, communication first and foremost was like the biggest main 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 thing and I communicated with my teachers I communicated with my my teammates with my friends with my coaches with my parents like constantly like just staying um, in communication with them and letting them know like how I was feeling how if I was failing um, just like things like that and bro I was in there for five years so it took a lot but you know, you grow. So this is the finished product, still, still, still in the works. But uh, that was, that's pretty much uh, my main takeaways. I hope it helps you, Shawnee. Yeah, no, it really does. Okay, awesome. Any more questions? That was a great question. Tell me, tell me, tell me something good. Wow, wow. You don't have to tell me you love me. But. You're out of time anyways, but that was really good to me. I think that last response on that communication is huge and just being humble because I think when you go from high school and you're rocking it and you get into college and then you're not rocking it anymore, that's a humble boat. And then when you leave college and you're rocking it and then you go to the senior yeah. level and you're not rocking it anymore, it's like, here we go again, bottom of the barrel again. And you just have to keep fighting your way up to the top. And then when you get to that tip top, then it like is really <laughs> Part up there, <laughs> then at the the top of the peak is a lot steeper and the climb is much slower. But Tamira has Very been a true. great example of that through her career, and she's just grown. Oh my gosh, should we tell the story about your fanny pack? Oh, I thought you said we ran out of time. Look at the time.
time. I got a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell it or? <laughs> you are me. She's really good at that. Version. <laughs> Dang it. All right, you guys. So responsibility is something that you learn growing up, right? And uh, as you get older, depending on where you are in your wrestling career, you start to travel more. And your parents tell you to keep an eye on your stuff, right? And you, you in one ear, out the other, blah, blah, blah. Um, one of my first wrestling trips, I actually, uh, this is when I didn't have a fanny pack. Uh, I went somewhere, I think it was Greece, Spain. Yeah, that was my first wrestling trip. It was awesome. And um, I kind of left my ticket, my next plane ticket, on the plane that I actually was supposed to be on. I also left my passport on the plane and I just kind of walked to the next gate without realizing I didn't have any of this. And this happened more than once. I've also lost my passport uh, overseas and yeah. And my coaches started realizing that I was very irresponsible and they were like, okay, don't you have a bag? I'm like, yeah, I have a bag, but who wears a bag all the time? So they came, my, my college coach, Johnny Cobb, came up with the idea to attach a bag to my hip, something that <laughs> wouldn't leave my side. And I just kind of walk around with it. And it was kind of cool and uncool at the same time. But, you know, I took it in strides. I was like, look at me and my fanny pack. Nobody knows I'm irresponsible now. But yo, get this, you still have to be responsible with your fanny pack, because at um, I, I know I'm about to tell this. This was horrible. I had so many experiences. And was it Wisconsin? At um, in Wisconsin, I had my fanny pack in my backpack, thinking it was all safe, and I uh had money in my passport, pretty much my livelihood in there, y'all, uh, over two hundred dollars. And some little punk went into my bag and took my entire fanny pack. That sucker was bright blue, so it wasn't hard to find. And I was left without an ID and money. Thank goodness I was sponsored by Titan Mercury and they helped me. But uh, <laughs> well, what about when you checked in with your ID and then you put your ID in your check bag and you shipped it to? <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, there's so many stories. I did do that. And Coach Cobb was like, where's your ID? And I'm like, did I, is it in the, is it in my suitcase? This is also when I didn't have my fanny pack, y'all. There's a lot of stories uh, with and without that fanny pack. But I've learned, I'm 27 years old now. I've gotten a little bit more responsible. But yeah, fun fact, you never stop learning, y'all. So, oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for those stories, Tamira. It just makes you more real. <laughs> <laughs> How much trouble I caused you guys. <laughs> or though I call I text her last week and I was like, are, are you ready for the thing? She's like, Oh yeah, I'm ready. And she had slipped it out and I was like, This is a new woman. <laughs> I'm I'm learning. Next week, you guys, I'll also tell you on how uh I've missed flights to a lot of my tournaments and still managed to win them. But boy, the, the journey to those trips <sighs> were scary and lonely because I missed flights. So I was traveling by myself. <laughs> oh. I'll say that for next time. All right, guys. Um, I hope that these are fun. Let's see if we can get some more people on. Call your coaches and teammates and friends. Yeah. Yeah. Join us. Um, we have one more session next week and just Titan Mercury doing what we can to try to have some fun and support our young upcoming athletes and uh, present a great role model currently <laughs> to look after. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us. We'll see you guys all next Saturday for our last of our series. Bye you guys. Thank you for joining.